The Russian army has nearly destroyed the city of Vovchansk, located just five kilometers from the border with Russia. It has been almost leveled to the ground, according to the separate presidential brigade named after Hetman Bodan Kamelnitsky on Facebook. According to the military, the city is nearly completely destroyed, with streets burning from artillery and FPV drone strikes, and it is covered in smoke. There is a constant buzz of drones in the air, with dozens of quadcopters operating simultaneously. Above them are reconnaissance wings. Air superiority almost always translates to ground superiority, the military reports. According to RBC Ukraine, they note that recently there has been a large number of Russian reconnaissance drones over the city. Despite this, the Russian forces are also complaining about Ukrainian drones. According to the intercepted communications, they complain a lot about the number of our drones, reconnaissance and strike drones. The Russian troops are constantly under our surveillance. We detect them and inflict fire damage. This is, in principle, routine work, said the commander of the 2nd Mechanized Battalion of the Separate Presidential Brigade, known by the call sign Samurai. He noted that currently the Vovchansk direction is defended by some of the most combat-ready units of the Ukrainian armed forces which have combat experience. Everyone understands that we cannot allow the enemy to advance further in the Kharkiv direction. No one wants to fight for Kharkiv again, as we did in 2022. Everyone understands that we must make every effort to prevent this, Samurai said. The military official explained that Vovchansk is turning into yet another infantry meat grinder for the Russian army and for Ukraine it is becoming a ghost city reduced to rubble by the Russian troops and littered with their bodies. This once again proves that the enemy's goal is total destruction of everything in their path and capturing square kilometers at any cost. Recall, in early May, the Russian army launched a renewed offensive in the northern Kharkiv region. The defense forces managed to halt the enemy's advance, but battles continue in the settlements of Lybok and Vovchansk. The military has already reported that Russia withdrew some of its troops from the Kharkiv region to the Kursk direction. However, the enemy maintains enough forces in the area to continue their assaults. Recently, the 3rd Assault Brigade conducted a counterattack in the Kharkiv region. The fighters advanced by nearly two square kilometers. Russian war correspondents are hysterically insulting residents of the Kursk and Belgorod regions and accusing them of treason because of their attitude towards the Russian army. One of the Russian propagandists recorded a video in which he uses obscene language about the residents of the two regions listed above saying that they do not allow Russian soldiers to move into the homes of the locals and do not provide them with food and water. Do you really want to win the war? It sounds disgusting when you do not sell water to soldiers because you are afraid that soldiers will come to you and something will fly there. This is pure treason. You are a counter-revolutionary. If a soldier came to your house and said that there will be a stronghold here, then you take your things and run off to your relatives. This is pure counter-revolution. The propagandist is indignant. He also accused Belgorod residents of taking advantage of this situation and renting apartments to Putin's military and Z-War correspondents at sky-high prices. You are spies of a foreign country, you are not people, the propagandist added furiously. Recall Z-War correspondents admitted that the Russian army is unable to regain control over the lost territories of the Kursk region. Meanwhile, the mood of the residents of the part of Kursk region occupied by the Ukrainian armed forces is changing dramatically. Young people are asking for evacuation to Ukraine, not wanting to remain in dictatorial Russia, and older people are cursing Putin, who unleashed the war. A war correspondent, Andrei Saplienko, says that residents of Sudza in the Kursk region, under the influence of Russian propaganda at the beginning of the offensive operation of the Ukrainian armed forces in the region, thought that fascists were coming and hid in basements and forest belts, but when they saw that the created Ukrainian military commandment office was providing all the necessary assistance to the locals, their mood changed. It's impressive how the new Ukrainian commandment office on Russian territory helps people, products, water, medicines, essential items. Everything is brought here from Ukraine. Ukrainian doctors even saved a woman in labor and a newborn baby. The journalist says, 